Uh, right, it, it's November and the ground's very stucky and it's, it's time to turn it over ready for the spring. Um, I'm using an ordinary spade to start with and you'll see that using a spade there's quite a lot of effort required. I'm leaving the soil up, bending down, lifting up and twisting. And that's putting a strain on my back. I, can, I could feel it after a few hours digging this garden I'll be quite sore. So I can really feel the strain in the small of my back. That's the worst place. After an hour of this, I think anyone would be tired. So I decided to think about this and I came up with this design. And it looks a little bit unusual. <laughs> The criteria was that I kept my back straight yeah. and there was very little effort required to turn the soil over. So does this work in the same way as a spade? It looks very different. Yeah. It's a totally different process. Keeping the back dead upright, that handle there is an average height for most people. So my back's upright, put it where I want to cut, press in and then I pull back using my body as a fulcrum point, mm -hmm. I can now take this handle, which is within reach of anyone at this point, lift up, put the soil where I want it, that's the important thing, yeah. put the soil where I want it, then using this moulded handle and this handle, I can turn the soil over and break it's it up. not bent down or twisted at all doing that. Look at my back, it's dead straight. Yeah. I'll do a few digs for you. The important thing is putting the blade down before you turn. No moving parts, it's very strong. That looks so much easier. It is. I could dig all day like this. Yes. No strain at all. You can come and do my garden next then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Come on. Now you've made this look very easy but um, I don't know if I'm going to find it quite as easy. Let's well, to, to start with, don't take too much soil. Okay. Just get used to it. And your back's upright. Okay. Blade as upright as you can, so arm straight out. And press down the blade. Okay. Right in. Pull back to your thigh. That's it. Now take that handle and lift. Oh, yeah. Now put it down. Turn yeah. it over. That way. Okay. The soil up. Once you get used to it. Okay, that is easier okay, than digging. Try, try a few more. Just, just get into the rhythm of it. Take a bit more soil now. Come on, sorry. Okay. Bring it back. Lift. Put it where you want to. Exactly where you want to. Up as you can. Press down. Pull back. Lift it out. Put it where you want to. Left and right hand. Turn it over. Then turn it over. That's better. And turn it right over. This is definitely easier. I mean, as well as the twisting of the back, it feels like the weight is distributed through my body yeah. much more evenly. Yeah. And um, it just feels a lot lighter and a lot easier. And, once, and like you say, once you get into the flow of it, it's just as easy to use as normal spade. Yeah. Or easier, yeah. in fact. Then if you wanted to, for, for some reason, use it like a spade or say, I don't know, shoveling or whatever, you can take it apart and put a handle, which is like that handle, uh -huh. into there and then you've got an ordinary yeah. shovel or an ordinary spade. Yeah. Different blades can be supplied for the bottom. So fork, you can have a fork or... And uh, as a weed puller as well. The mm -hmm. weed puller is really good because say you have a deep rooted plant, all you do is put that down, say a dandelion, whatever, uh -huh. bring it back and then just pop it out the ground. And that's for storage, you can either take it apart, just by loosening that off, or you can just turn it to the side. So oh, it okay. takes up less space. Yeah. Yep. But if I take that off, it can be stored like yeah, that, or I can have four. a fork, or a weed puller, oh, which and they can just be attached to it. Yes. On the bottom yeah. there. Or I can just leave them together, turn to the side, 
relock it and it fits in the shed in that way. Yeah. Okay. This is just a prototype one, but um, in the production model, you know, you can stainless steel or different colours or whatever.